Are you looking for taping techniques? Taping techniques for the Pazan Sarini? I'm going to show you right now how to do that. Stay tuned. Okay, we're going to be taping. This is again with a stretchy tape. We're going to be doing it onto the Pazan Sarini. And typically what I like to do beforehand is I like to muscle test to see which of the three muscles is the one which is the culprit irritating the Pezzan Sarini, if there is something there. Again, uh, taping techniques I think are mainly, should mainly be reserved for pain management and improving the structures if there's a problem here. But if we're looking at a functional issue where the hip is the main issue, then we might leave us alone and not tape it at all. But what I like to typically do is, so you slide on up the shin here, we're gonna find the Pezzan Sarani right there. And let's just say we have an issue with, uh, we're gonna go with the gracilis just to make it easy on the video. So Pezzan Sarani right there, and you can kind of see the musculature slide down and kind of become it right around here. So I'm gonna provide an anchor right there. You can pull on it about 10% there. This tape, the backing kind of comes up on its own when you pull it. And I probably made this a little long, but we'll go with it. Good, so make sure that thing's really laying on there. These ones are gonna form an X over the spot right there. So I like to rip it right in the middle, lay that thing down. Let's get that thing out of the way. And these ones I like to put a little bit more stretch on it, but keep in mind this is on the front side of the knee. So if you put too much stretch on it, when she bends the knee, it's going to tear right off because it has no much, no, it doesn't have any more stretch to give. And the last one here, Laura asked for black tape this time. I did not. She did ask for black tape. Black makes you look skinnier. So black, that black makes you look skinnier. In case no one heard her say that. Mm -hmm. so white makes you look <laughs> I'll look for some black and white tape next time. <laughs> okay, so you rub this thing on. It's gonna activate some of the adhesive. You can leave this on for about five days or so. She should be able to move and bend with it. If there's some areas that are restricting her, like say this one back here might be kind of binding up within the bend of her knee, we can cut this one off and start again as well. So we wanna make sure that she has free motion and make sure that, that it feels comfortable before she leaves. But again, it can last about five days if you take care of it and you don't end up kind of uh, picking at it or when you shower, don't try to rub it dry, just let it air dry.